in all of these cases, Eric's in, included in this uh, docu-series, uh, it was brought to us by Lemmy Plummer Media. And uh, when they came to us, we said, well, if, we, if we're going to do something like this, this is such a horrific event, so these, and they're happening all across the country. It's sad. There's no way around it. So we should think about doing this from getting the other perspectives. Now, that part was going to be hard mm -hmm. because that was the hardest part of putting this show together because there's a lot of other high-profile cases, and Gwen, we could speak to those as well. Yeah. But it's hard to get the assets. you got to get the families. you got to get law enforcement to want to be interviewed. Can I ask who's more difficult to get, the families of victims or law enforcement? Well, it's, it's, it's law enforcement. I do. i sorry. I, do. <laughs> it, I, I, yeah. I know the answer, but, yeah, i got to ask. <laughs> well, I think law enforcement is always going to be measured, right, because there hadn't been any indictments in these things, you know, and, and, that, and so and I think that's a lot of the angst, but it's always harder to get the law enforcement. But in this case, we were able to get law enforcement. I mean, I think uh, Lemmy Plummer and his team did an, a fabulous job of going out and, you know, because they saw that we were trying to do something different. We weren't trying to vilify the cops, even though in some of these cases, in many of these cases, most of us could say, you know what, we could vilify these guys. It's just wrong what they did. Right. But at the end of the day... So, like, you even have Al Sharpton saying in, yeah. in this that at a certain point, the, per the police officer's humanity should kick in. Even if they were initially doing something by protocol, something outside of protocol was happening and, a, that's and a right. humanity should have kicked in. That's right. It should have kicked in and, it, you know, and that's what, that's what you hope. But I mean, the, the whole idea was to show both sides. So once we got the assets together and they came together for these four cases, so we decided to move forward with these. And these are, you know, obviously high profile cases, but we were happy that we were at least able to pull these four together and, uh, you know, all we ever wanted with this was to start a conversation, a real conversation around how these incidents happen and why are they happening to African-American uh, young men and men at such a high rate across the whole United States. It, all these cases are in different states. But then there's so many more. And it's happening every day, it feels like, you know. So we need to, you know, have conversation around it and figure out what we can do.